Hey everyone, Coach Arrow here. On this episode of Behind the Play, we're going to look at a fight from our defense on Watchpoint Gibraltar in our match versus the Philadelphia Fusion. And this is one-sided as it gets. Dallas are yet to score a kill here on Gibraltar and the snowbally nature of this map continues to be demonstrated. Yep, is all you need here is an EMP to get it going. More switches now have to come in for the Dallas Fuel to react to losing these fights. It, it, it just puts them even further behind. To set up this play, we're trying to hold Fusion on the third point. Up until now, we've been caught in a snowball situation. We opened with a pretty risky comp and that risk didn't pay off. Even though we've been holding the point for about two minutes on third, we still have another two minutes to go. Now this fight is a pretty crucial one, as Philadelphia has six of their ultimates and we only have five. Now this is a pretty big deal when it comes to fights in Overwatch. Being down five volts to six means that we have to find more value from ours than they do from theirs. So that means that we need to make sure that we set up ours correctly and we follow through with ours correctly. As Philly starts walking up the ramp on third point, we scout that their damage dealers and support have gone through the right side path. With the tanks completely separated from the enemy team, it means that we can probably get a kill before they're able to receive backup. As Doha uses his EMP, the rest of our teams are right there to follow up, and we're able to burn Sato even through the sound barrier that Bunny Astro uses. As we're finishing off a hacked Sato, Philadelphia uses their four remaining usable ultimates in an attempt to finish the fight and close out the map. As they start using these ultimates, Closer is there and is able to use his beat. With this sound barrier and some fancy footwork, we're able to completely negate all four of Fusion's ultimates. Those ultimates being their EMP, their Coalescence, their Pulse Bomb, and their Self Destruct. With all of those ults negated, we're now in a standard 6v5 and we use our Coalescence to push through and clean up the rest of the fight. But I think that Dallas get a minute of oh, free time from that uh, second. Now that EMP not convincing, only got started. He just scuttles off and gets healed up, but that is a five-man EMP. This time he still wins out in the Sombra Wars, but can Philly follow up? They've lost Sato, who had Primal Rage. Maybe he just didn't think he'd need it with the EMP being so effective, but Philly were wrong. Oh, how wrong they were. Crimson Coalescence pushes the Dallas Fuel forwards, and they get another stagger here, another chance to build those ults back up. This play is a really important one, as it's a very meaningful ult cycle for Philadelphia Fusion. It's not very often that you're up six ultimates to five, so it's up to Fusion to make sure that they can get value from their ultimates and capitalize on this situation. But now that we've reset the ult economy and we're able to start cycling our ultimates, it means that if Philadelphia does capture the point, then they're gonna capture in overtime. And in this case, the overtime capture played a very crucial role in us being able to take this map, as it means that they get the very minimum amount of time to be able to push in overtime. In this match, we were able to take the victory in overtime. And this play played a very important part of that. Thanks everyone for watching this week's Behind the Play, Burn Blue.